and welcome to Commons Current Events Roundtable. Today we have a very special guest, Dr. Ilana Ashley, who is an educator, an author of a very, very fine book, which is Case 2, Big Bully Holler. I just want to show this to our audience right now. And it's a book about being bullied as a child and what we can do and what there's so much information in this book to help children in case they're being bullied. I just want to read you something that I think is very important. According to the National Center for Educational Statistics, about a quarter of students are bullied during the school year. Adults can likely point to bullying that goes among adults as well. Dr. Ashley has mentored students, teachers, and parents through multiple workshops on child abuse, drug education, character development, self-esteem, and conflict management. And I want to welcome Dr. Elena Ashley. Welcome. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy to have you. I've been wanting to have a show about bullying for quite a long time because it's really something that's been happening in our school system, in our workplace, and in many other areas of our lives. And this book, apparently, which I really, really enjoyed, was called Big Bully Holly Howler. And it's, it's a wonderful book for children. And you know, I thought, well, it's for children. What will I get out of it? Actually, I, I enjoyed it. Even though it's for children, I thought it was a, a good book for adults to read, too. And it's a good book for adults, grandparents to give to their, to their children and to their, uh, I mean, to their, also their grandchildren to uh, really work on bullying and what's going on in schools. And one of the first things I want to ask you was, what was your inspiration <laughs> for writing this book, Big Bully, Ho Holly Howler? It's a tongue twister, a Holly Howler. But um, I would like to know what was your, uh, what inspired you for writing this book? Okay, the highest of human values and the highest ethical standards form the basis of all my writings, whether it's a song, a poem, a dramatic narrative, a book for children, a book for adults. It is so important that each of us speak with each other with honesty, with openness, directness, simplicity, with clarity. And it's so crucial that each of us interact with each other in a responsible manner, showing each other respect and compassion and support and loyalty and dignity to everyone. And it is only then that we are going to have a world in which we have strong relationships, strong communities, and a strong society filled with friendship, harmony, and peace. Now, unfortunately, evil is in the hearts, minds, and spirits of many people. Bullying is rampant. It's affecting the lives of people of all ages, of all backgrounds. We need to do something about it. Now, my children's book is a book which is not just for children. It's for all people, no matter where they come from, age, people of all age, ages, can learn from this book. In this book is a key that leads to the opening of doors that can allow people to create a world which is wiser, healthier, and safer, a world in which we live, learn, and love freely and joyously. Uh, let me ask you, uh, Dr. Elena Ashley, uh, let's start with a simple definition of bullying. We hear the word bullying. You know, what really is a bully? I mean, there's, I think everybody has a different uh, perception of what is being bullied. I know I have a friend, an adult friend, at work, at, she's getting bullied at work. And I know in this book, it's, it's a wonderful book on how to handle being bullied. But why don't, I would like your, your like more a simple definition of what is being, what does the word bully mean to you? Okay. A bully 
is a child or an adult or a senior who uses abusive language and or abusive behavior with the purpose of harming. The intention is to harm another person and potentially an animal. Oh, I didn't think about the animals. But um, in, I just want to ask you, um, it, it, you have a series of um, questions in, in this book. That what are some of the categories of bullying? Please give me like an example of different types of bullying. Because um, some of us think a bullying is just a physical abuse. It's also uh, verbal abuse. And I would like to get your ideas of what, you know, what the different types of bullying sure. are. I define it in four categories. The first one is verbal emotional abuse. And it includes such examples as name calling, you're a jerk, you're stupid, you're ugly, you're fat. Insult, example, your brain is the size of a peanut. A threat, if you don't do what I tell you to do, you're going to be in big trouble. Second category, physical abuse. It has two sides to it. How people are touching each other in abusive ways, and also what could be happening to their property. So in terms of the first half, everything from kicking, hitting, punching, pinching, scratching, trying to twist an arm, the second side of it in terms of damaging or breaking property, whether in a school, whether it's books or a pen, whether it's elsewhere, anything, furniture. Third category, social uh, Relation. or relational abuse. And this has to do with people ignoring neglecting, isolating, excluding individuals or a few individuals from participating in an activity. And it, it can be from a birthday party. It can be from an activity in the classroom. It can be from a sport, anything. Excluding out another example of this is social, relational, is spreading rumors about somebody. And the fourth area is cyberbullying or electronic bullying and involving the conveying of messages, evil, ugly, vicious messages, and also images, photographs. So some of the ways that that information and images get to other people is through, certainly, the internet and the cell phone and all other electronic devices. And, and, it, it, and, and those type of uh, cyber, which is usually amongst teenagers, and that could be very damaging and could lead to suicide as well. And that's why some of the kids you know, commit suicide, because, because of cyberbullying, which is really, really horrible. Uh, Dr. Dr. Lana, why, um, why do people need to bully? I mean, what, what, what makes them become a bully? You know, why are they like that? I mean, is there, what, what happens? Is it something that happens in their childhood? Uh, does it happen later on? What exactly happens to make a person a bully? Okay. Before, first, before I answer that, okay. I want to toss out a question to the audience, and that is more a statement. Think about how you felt as a child growing up with your family in your home. Okay, first fact I want to share with you. It's very important that parents are consistent and helpful and supportive in how they deal with and raise their children. But let's imagine for a moment some parents who are infrequently providing warmth, love, empathy, compassion, and attention to and for their children. Let's imagine that some parents are not properly supervising their children. 
not teaching them right and wrong behavior, what's appropriate and inappropriate when you speak with people, when you interact with people. And also they may have abuse going on in their home as well. Exactly. Some of the parents. Well, that's what I'm yeah. virtually telling yeah. you right here, right. Dr. Kahneman. Right, because some of the, you know, they hear some of these words from their own homes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And some, some, of, some of the parents can be overly permissive. So when you start to combine these factors, we are finding out that there are children who are led in very different directions. Rather than the acknowledgement and appreciation and attention they want and need and are not getting, they wound up looking for often power and control of others. And they, and, and they, and they, even they do it in negative, they still, even if something's negative, it's still getting attention. You know, like, um, I, w I would like to talk about something in your book, which is really, um, there, in, the, in your book, it was the new child at school. And, um, and the, the character is a big bully, Holly Howler, mm -hmm. who is a, um, the animal is a, um, Hippo. A, hippo a hippopotamus, <laughs> okay, it's really cute. And this particular child uh, is new to the school yes. and doesn't know how to react or, uh, with other children. And uh, th th this, was, this was really interesting because this was the bully and some of the things that the bully was doing, it was exactly what, you know, what, taking away items of the other children, uh, you know, uh, exactly which is some verbal and physical abuse too that was going on because the per the bully didn't know how to ask for positive attention exactly and in your book it, explain what happens in your book why I think this book is very very good for for young children even though it's written you know it's can it's both it's written by the way I, and I and I liked what you did you took a book you wrote it in English and you have another book, which is the same book, but th this book is also English and Spanish. Exactly. Because, um, you know, this is, this is good. So all kinds of, all children, all, eth you know, ethnics, eth 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 ethnic children of different uh, backgrounds could understand the book, even if maybe their, their verbal, you know, use of English isn't good. And this was wonderful because this is about the new kid at school. Give a little synopsis of the book and what, the, what you had the bully, how the bully, how they tamed the bully. Maybe that's the good thing, how they tamed the bully in this book. Yeah, well, the first half of the book involves the characters major characters meeting the character of spokes puppet Splunkunio Splunky, who was in the first book, is called back and comes back magically and is there to be helpful. Ellie's upset, Ellie Elephant, because there's a new student, Holly Howler, big Holly Howler, big bully Holly Howler, and she says in the book, and nobody likes her. What happens in the first half is the readers hear about lots of different kinds of inappropriate behavior of Holly. For example, everything from shoving and pushing to be the first in the lunch line. Another thing she does is to take directly from Ellie's hand an apple, which was brought in for, for, by Ellie for the teacher. But Holly puts it on the table just as the teacher is walking in. And who gets commended, of course, Holly. It moves on to other things that are going on with other students, but also while Ellie's friends are being bullied, it is really Ellie Elephant who is the major, major victim. So finally, Ellie is really fed up. She calls her